students welcome back coming to the next topic that is the cin and c out so the cin and c out are the operators that are used in the c++ uh, that is object oriented language actually cin is a function used for input so this is a function used for input and this is a function used for the output so cin will extract the values from the user and output will uh, display the result on the screen okay so this is a c in and c out let us see what is the syntaxes and the uh, how these will be used in the program c in so the syntax for this is c in variables so the syntax for this is c in variables so why we use this c in c in is to get values from user so c in is used for to get the values from the user this you call it as an extract operator extract operator so extract operator means it extracting the values from user getting the values from user okay here these are the variables just declare the variable so that values the user has to give those values next uh, this scene include in io stream dot h so here this is a header file used uh, to use in scene all the scene uh, uh, this is a uh, scene is nothing but it is uh, input this input uh, will be stored in the io stream dot h file header file next scene is used for accepting data from keyboard so i already said the scene is a uh, is to get the values from user how it is get the values from user it is accepting data from keyboard and this is the uh, extractor operator or get from operator this can be overloaded this extractor operator can be overloaded so already i said the c++ is supports the operator overloading this will be used for as the extractor operator as well as extractor operator as well as bitwise right shift operator so based on the usage of you can take it as an extra if you use as a c in like this it will be used like extractor operator or simply those symbol indicates the bitwise right shift operator so that's why we are saying this is it can supports the overloading this operator can be overloaded this can be used for different purposes it is uh, this c in is similar to it is similar to scan of in c so what are the operations that the functions that it is there in scan of is the same for c in c in in object of i was i stream classes here the data flow direction is from the data flow direction from from where to where from input device to variables so we are accepting the data from keyboard so the direction flow will from start from the input devices to the variables it use the user type some input and that will store in the variables and one more thing this scene can accept multiple in, uh, inputs multiple inputs can be accepted by scene so let us take one example accepting inputs from example let us see the example so the same example can and be work for the c out also so i am writing the program uh, for scene as well as the c out so the accepting input from user so this is a program hash include 
I was stream dot h because we have to include this header file because all the cin and cout functions will present in I was stream only using namespace. So this can be the this is an user defined data type using namespace std int main. So this is a main program you are writing now int main. So let us declare the variables int n1 int n2 so these are the variables i declared now write c out here i am writing enter the uh, enter first number next c in n1 again write c out enter second number and C in extraction operator N2. So now C out. You want to display the output. C out addition. Again C out. N1 plus N2. Return 0. So this is a program. Okay. Here you have seen this is a program. Here we are declaring the C out and C in operations only. We are reading the data and writing the data. Reading the data, writing the data on the screen. If you are C out using means that will be displayed on the screen. Whenever you use the C out that will be displayed on the screen. Now we are talking about the C in. C in it's reading the value from the keyboard. C in N2 it is reading the value from the keyboard. Okay here just these two values are reading from the keyboard. So after reading, it does the C out operation. It performs the operation and displays the result on the screen. Actually, this C in uh, uh, can be expressed in different ways. So there are those different ways or C in can use in cascading. We can we can cascade multiple variables in cn okay in cn we can cascade multiple variables like suppose if you are taking int a comma b this can be represented in c in extraction operator like this or you can declare separately c in a c in b so both are the same so you can represent the cascade multiple variables multiple variables can be entered not only two you can enter more the va more variables at a time and next extra extraction operator is also used to getting strings so not only the variables the extraction operator can also helpful in getting the strings how c in string you just write the string so the string will be uh, entered uh, we get the string from the keyboard but one thing here the variables can be multiple you can enter multiple variables means you can enter cascade multiple variables whereas string means here c in allows allows to enter only one word you entered only one word at a time suppose if you want to read entire line so c in string means only one word it reads at a time if you suppose if you want to read the entire line you have to write the function like get line you have to write this function get line instead of c in just you have to take get line get line means it reads the entire line whereas c in string reads only one word so these are the uh, features that are used uh, for the c in operator and this is the syntax for the c in. now let us see the c out so how we will write the c out 
okay so coming to the c out so c out is also the some one extraction uh, sorry c in is the extraction operator whereas c out you say that uh, you call it as an insertion operator insertion we use the insertion operator so this is the insertion operator the syntax for the c out is syntax c out variable so actually this c out is used for display output to user using screen screen or a monitor so the c out is used to display output to user using the screen or a monitor so this is called as an insertion operator we are inserting the values whereas c in means we are extracting the values from the keyboard c out means inserting the values and you are displaying the output on the screen so use the insertion operator don't be confused c out is insertion c in extracting extracting the values from keyboard so insertion operator is uh, it can be overloaded so whatever i said the extraction this is also be overloaded this insertion operator is acts as an insertion operator as well as the bitwise left shift of operator so it can be overloaded this uh, insertion operator can be overloaded so let us see this previous example whatever i explained here okay. here we had uh, taken the program and we are declared the variables n1 and n2 now coming to this uh, uh, c out c out f first i enter the enter first number so what it indicates it it displays the message to tell the user it to tell the user uh, appropriate to do the appropriate action okay it tells the user to do appropriate action so whenever you enter c out enter first name will be uh, displayed on the screen so like this the output is enter first number okay so here it enters the first number so that will be the okay just enter uh, that will be entered on the screen displayed on the screen next c out enter second wherever the out is there that message will be appeared on the screen now enter second number so whenever it is there in means it reads the values so whatever c in whatever i entered that will be appeared here suppose it is 8 again in c and second number the c in is n2 so now again i entered 8 now the c out what is the message addition that will be displayed on the screen addition so addition again c out is n1 plus n2 so that is 8 plus 8 you will get the 16 as the output so in the screen you are not just simply uh, displaying the messages means the numbers the whatever you entered in the c out that will be appeared on the screen enter first number exactly like that enter first number enter second number enter second number and the c out here you are having the addition addition will be appear and it uh, calculate the result n1 plus n2 whatever the values here have entered that will be added and displayed the result so this is how the c in and c out uh, will work okay so now coming to this uh, our discussion so uh, we are having uh, this c out can be expressed in different ways so we had seen the example and now coming to we can express this c out in different ways so this is also we can use for cascading 
cascading multiple variables in C out. So we can cascade multiple variables in C out. So how you can uh, enter suppose int a is equal to 10 int b is equal to 20 okay so now the c out c out you can write c out insertion operator a insertion operator b or else you can write c out a c out b so this you can enter like this or this both are the correct so the main concept here is it allows the cascading multiple variables so if you take the strings it only enters one string, one word at a time. Cascading is not possible in strings. So, it allows us to enter only one word. And next thing is you can use of expressions. Use of expressions in C out. In C out, you can use expressions also. How you can use expressions means how you can represent. Let us see the program int n1 int n2 those are two variables now first read the variables c in n1 c in n2 now coming to c out addition is so previously i had write another c out instead of writing another line you just write here only insertion operator n1 plus n2 okay instead of writing in another line c out n1 n2 just use the the complete in one expression so this is the use of expressions next it display c out display output on new line also so if you want to display the output on new lines we can use if you want to display output on new lines, we can use N or and L. Okay, if you want to display an output in its separate lines, you can use N, N or E and L to print the output on new line. Let us see the program. C out. Suppose if I use the N. Hello, comma, N. So, after hello, it enters into the another line. Again, it takes C out. My name is N. N means it enters into another line. Pooja. Or you can represent N L also. C out. Hello. N L. C out. My name is and L. C out. Puja. So this both syntax are the same. You can use and L or N operator. So you can use N or and L operator to enter into the new line. So the output for this two. Or the same you will get the output. How will get how you will get the output? Hello will be displayed on the first line. Next line is because I entered into the new line. My name is again I entered into the new line. So my name is Pooja. So this is the output for these two syntax. Okay. So, this is a different ways you can express the C out operator. So, C out is for output. Thank you.